Hey guys, um, so this is what we're going to be working on this week for print making. So you're probably wondering why I sent those foam sheets home with you. Um, so foam can actually actually be used as a print making material. Um, so it's a little bit different than linoleum carving. We can't get quite as much detail, um, but it was a very easy thing to send home with you. So we are still going to do in-person um, printmaking carving, um, but this was a good thing to get you used to that um, that I could send home. So what you're gonna start by doing is making a page in your sketchbook. Um, I sketched mine out in pencil first, and then I went over it with Sharpie. Now the Sharpie is letting me know what I'm gonna carve away and what I'm going to leave alone. So my white is where I'm going to be carving and my black is where I'm going to be leaving alone. So for example, in my drawing, is it really important to fill in this whole space with black? You know, if I were just doing it as a drawing, I probably would, but since I'm using it as a guide, it's okay that it's a little bit messy because I'm just using it um, for my plate. So you can do something similar to what you maybe you're thinking about for the real project, maybe one of your three ideas, um, or if you want to do something a little bit different, that's fine too. Um, but this is your project for the week, so make sure you're spending some time. All right, so I have mine. Um, I gave you guys a piece of practice foam and you have your stylus. So I would just kind of get used to applying pressure with the stylus to the foam and kind of see what it does. So we don't want to press so hard that we're, you know, tearing through it. You don't want to like rip it. You don't want to go all the way through. Um, but you also don't want to press so gently that there's not really any imprint. There has to be an imprint. Otherwise, when you go to print it, um, it's not going to pick up that texture. So, you know, you, you very easily should be able to get just a little bit of pressure through that, and that's that's what you want. So this is for you just to kind of play around with, um, get a little practice with before you do it on your real sheet. So here's my sheet of foam, and I'm going to set that right here in my table. I'm actually going to tape it down um, just so it doesn't move while I'm transferring. And then here is my drawing. So I'm going to tape that down as well for the same reason. You don't have to tape it down, but I don't like mine to move on me while I'm going. So one thing that's important about this is you want to <clears throat> have a system in place so you're remembering where you've already um, pressed with your stylus. So like I said, the white is where I'm carving and the black is where I'm leaving. So anywhere that's white, I'm wanting to apply pressure. And you are going to see your lines. So I don't want to go, you know, all over the place. I want to go in the same direction. So for my rays, I'm going to go, I'm going to go in lines radiating outward. Again, all in the same direction. I don't want to have like a sloppy mess. And you can see the indents in my paper. So I am pressing hard enough to make an indent in my paper. And I can sneak and kind of check and look and see. Okay, and I can see my marks. So once I'm done transferring it, I'm going to press down a little bit harder on the real sheet. Um, but this is helping me see where my image is so that I'm not just free handing it. I already have my guide in place. So if you want to, you can even just outline your areas that are white so that you can see your image. I know it's kind of hard to maybe see, but you can start to see my image. So once I'm done transferring, guys, I'm going to come back here to my plate and I'm going to apply a little bit more pressure, but not too much. See, I accidentally tore a little bit of my plate off. I can probably come around it and fix it, um, but I don't want to press too hard because I don't want to tear up my plate. So when you guys come back, um, I think I see you guys Tuesday of that week, I think. Um, but anyway, when you guys come back, we will, um, we will actually be printing these. So I'll be showing you guys how to print and they're not, the results aren't exactly the same as um, linoleum carving, but it gives you a pretty good sense of what the printing process is like. Um, and you get to experience the idea of carving versus leaving alone. So I think it'll actually be pretty good practice. So what I'm wanting you guys to post um, in 
in classroom, it might be kind of hard for me to actually see your carving, um, but I do want you to post your drawing. So your drawing should be, um, it should be in pencil and then go over it with Sharpie. If for some reason you don't have a Sharpie at home, um, a marker would work too. But the idea is you should see where your white parts are and where the dark parts are. So we know where we're removing, we know where we're leaving away. So if you have questions or anything, feel free to email me. Um, but that is what you are going to have do in classroom at the end of the week. Okay. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.